I work in an exciting field of cybersecurity, and today I feel like it's my job to tell all of you to keep your shit safe. <laughs> yep, right out the gate. We're getting serious, okay? The way that you keep your shit safe is you hold cybersecurity as high of a priority as you do physical security. And when I say physical security, I mean the way that you close your windows and lock your doors before you go to bed at night, before you leave for work, okay? There's, there's a common misconception that individuals like you and me are not targeted by cyber criminals, that it's only the large corporations. But the truth is, these cyber threats are real to everyone. These cyber crime groups consist of talented individuals who are not only supported, but encouraged to steal your money, your information, and your secrets. What's really interesting about these cyber crime groups is that they have a, they have a similar structure to legitimate organizations. They have a leadership team. They have teams of malware coders. They have people who specialize in phishing, business email compromise, and romance scamming, which is a fun one. So there's three things that we can do to better protect ourselves. We can lock down our privacy settings. We can have stronger password habits, like I'm sure you've heard from your job and other people, right? And you can also use a virtual private network all the time, but especially when you're on a public Wi-Fi. So first, privacy settings. Having weak privacy settings, like using the default when you sign up for social media, is like allowing your neighborhood peeping Tom to look in your windows at night and watch you and your family sleep. Nobody wants that. We've got to lock down our privacy settings. No personal identifiable information should be available to anyone, not even your friends. So that means your email, your phone number, even your birth date. These cybercrime groups, they create personas, people that they think you'll like so that they can friend you and gather information on you or get to your employer. And don't just friend anyone because of that reason. So, privacy settings are really important. But what people tend to struggle with are their passwords. Having a weak password like fall 2019 exclamation point, if that's your password, change it tonight, please. Okay? Having a password like that is like opening your front door, inviting a burglar in and saying, hey, come steal all my shit. You can take it. You have friends? They can come too. Come on. Take everything. Nobody actually does that, okay? Instead, why don't we use a passphrase? For instance, I love Sandra Bullock. Who doesn't love Sandy B, right? I can replace some of those letters with numbers or special characters, and I have a much longer, more complex password. I could also use, even better, a password manager. This is something that creates those complex passwords as well as remembers them for you. Set up multi-factor authentication. Because with those three things, it's like you have that heavy-duty lock on your door with additional guard dogs out front. It's going to be real hard for people to get in. Using a virtual private network. When you go into a coffee shop and you log into their public Wi-Fi, an attacker can sit outside of that same coffee shop and see all of your activity on that network, all the traffic going to and from. Using a VPN encrypts that traffic so that they can't see, making it harder for them to get to know you, see what you're looking at, maybe grab a few passwords. We don't want that. Instead, I want you to think of a virtual private network as a force field, covering your home, masking it to look like a construction site. So when a burglar is driving down the street looking for somebody to rob, can't see your house, he's not going to think about that. That's under construction. There's nothing I want to steal in there. So, with all that being said, tonight, when you're tucked in, you're nice and comfy, you're about to go to sleep, of course, you know, make sure your doors are locked, make sure your windows are closed so that Peep and Tom's not looking at you. But I also want you to think about your privacy settings. Are those, are those locked down? Are your passwords still strong? And of course, is your virtual private network subscription still active? Because at the end of the day, 
We gotta keep our shit safe. Thank you.